We're here with Teradeck, and they're going to show us how you can get your videos in the cloud as quick as possible. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jiayun, Small Rig, and b &H. So Colin, thanks for having us here at Teradeck. Please tell me, what is the deal with Camera to Cloud? Why is everyone talking about it? Yeah, so I just had this really cool case study where there is a shooter that um, is out and about shooting and he's finding that he can shoot a lot less content and have a very specific set of what he needs and then get instant feedback from the editor saying, hey, I'm missing just this one shot. Can you grab this one? And so he's spending a lot less time and obviously money because he's able to be more deliberate about what he needs to shoot. Um, so that's kind of just one example, but I think, you know, more broadly, we're also finding a lot of producers and executives that are being able to, you know, be part of production because they're um, be, they're being part of production because they're actually able to see the content live, and as they're shooting, they're actually able to make comments or at least just feel like they're involved and they can see what's happening. Um, if production slows down or speeds up, they're they're able to be there in a live environment remotely. Yeah, you know that's. The first time I hear that comment, and I, it just blew my mind, that the editor is actually like on set and they can give feedback. I, I can't even count how many times, as a as a post -pro, post production director myself, I've been like, why did they shoot it like that? Yeah. What a what an incredible power. So what can Teradeck do for us now? Yeah. So there's plenty of companies that are cloud um, collaboration and and uh, instant dailies and all these things. Um, but the question is, well, how do you actually get the content from the camera to the to the cloud? Because there are many cloud companies, but who's actually getting it to the cloud? And so Teradek, although we do have our own cloud platform, we're the ones that actually have the hardware, the encoder, the Wi-Fi router, and the cellular modem, and even now announcing today um, a cellular data plan to actually get your content from the camera to the cloud. That's crazy. So let's let's start for a second with the encoder. If I'm shooting with like a really high-end camera, what's the max that I can get out if I want to use that as like my hero negative and not just a proxy? Yeah, so you can go up to 85 megabits per second HEVC or H.264. Wow. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty problem. impressive. Yeah, I think that most of the time people are also using it as a proxy so I'm finding a lot of people are sending HD uh, 5 megabit per second HEVC files which is at, with HEVC it, it looks beautiful so um, the editor or the producer is seeing it at a really high quality and we make sure that all the color pipe information is also correct so we're pulling that from the camera we're pulling um, time code and file name from the cameras and we've had to we've actually had to work with the camera manufacturers to make sure we're pulling all the right metadata um, and so now that we've you know worked with each of these camera manufacturers we can pull that data and we can include that in the proxy or in the live feed um, that you're that you're getting through our entire pipeline of information very cool okay so I have my encoder and where does it go from how does it get from the encoder to the cloud yeah so from the camera you have SDI into the encoder the encoder is then um, either Wi-Fi to local devices, which is a cool aspect as well. So you can do people can see. Yeah, you can have up to 20 people viewing um, at one time locally with their own personal iPads. It could be a you know a producer or a hair and makeup or you know whoever it might be that's just local. Um, so they can see that live feed locally. And then what you can do is connect the encoder to our brand new Link AX Wi-Fi router, which is essentially just a Wi-Fi router. It's a Wi-Fi 6 router, so latest um, protocol. Um, but what we've done is make it uh, very production focused. So it has uh, gold mount or V-mount battery plates. It has a multitude of you know quarter 20 and 3 8 mounting points. Um, it's all aluminum chassis, so it's a rugged chassis. Um, and then that can distribute, can collect all the cameras. So you might have A, B, C camera, and maybe even a witness camera. And those are all feeding into the Wi-Fi router. And the Wi-Fi router over uh, USB is connected to our um, Node 5G or Node LTE um, uh, cellular modem. And so then what we're now announcing at NAB here is that we are also providing cell service. 
Um, so you can purchase uh, either per gigabyte or a monthly subscription um, to have cell service. And we've worked with Verizon, AT&T in the United States to be able to jump between um, those platforms or those service providers. And so whatever, wherever you're shooting, whatever service is the best in that area, then we'll just jump automatically to that provider. Um, so it just simplifies the process. If you want to, if you already have a SIM card, you're also able to just put that in uh, and utilize that. But it's nice to have that flexibility. Definitely. So first of all, on that, is it like a eSIM type deal? You don't need to insert anything. It just um, exists as long as you have the subscription. We will have an eSIM right now. There is a physical SIM card, but yes, we will have that as an option. And and the reason for that is because then you can you could put in an additional SIM card um, and toggle between whatever's working in that environment. And would the eSIM have some sort of redundancy so that you could choose the best network or? Yeah, so you can utilize our Teradek data um, platform to be able to choose on your own which which you'd like to use in that scenario and and right now it's mostly the US um, but it's quite it's expanding quite rapidly so definitely check in and see where it's available in the rest of the world cool and I think I heard you say that multiple encoders can be attached to one uh, receiver is that right yeah so that's the beauty of the link AX or any Wi-Fi router so that you can um, pull all those together and then you can send um, one stream up to um, the cloud and so, speaking of the cloud, um, we have our platform called Core, um, which is a live stream and recordings um, platform. So you can manage all of these streams in the cloud, and then you can share them with specific people that you want to share them with. So you might, we call it a workspace. Um, you can create a little workspace or room where maybe it's only producers that are looking at certain cameras. Uh, in one workspace, but then you have the DP and the director in another workspace, and they're able to collaborate both, uh, both voice and text, and so they can collaborate together and talk about that in a different workspace. Um, so that's our platform, but we also have direct integrations with a variety of other cloud platforms. Um, so Frame.io and Pix and Sony C, and we're also going to be announcing some more partners here in the future um, later this year. Uh, so whatever platform that you need, our hardware is the solution to get that content to your cloud. Um, and, and I even have people that are using multiple clouds. So, for example, Frame.io doesn't have uh, live streams. Um, so I have clients that will go to Frame.io for their recordings so the editor can jump in and start working on their recordings right away or their, you know, edits. Um, but then the producers that are remote, they want to see a live stream. And so they're able to use Core um, and they can uh, manage that to then send to the remote producers um, That's crazy. Yeah. You, basically, you have a remote production at, you know, wow, that's yeah. insane. Yeah, it's a lot. And we have, obviously, a variety of um, specific models and different things to kind of customize to your production needs. Cool. And uh, can you tell us about price and availability? Can we already buy these? Yeah, so Serve 4K is totally available right now. Um, the Link AX is the brand new uh, Wi-Fi 6 router. That will be $1,000 for the base model. If you want to add uh, gold mount or V-mount plates, that's so an additional $100, and that should be available um, pr hopefully June, early summer time frame. Um, so that will be available then. And then the nodes are also available. Uh, the uh, Teradek Data, which is our service plan, you'll have to contact us right now. We don't have a way to just go ahead and sign up, but if you contact us, we can we can start that process. and They can start rolling out with it yeah, already? Exactly. Colin, thanks so much for showing us that. That's crazy. I feel like it's going to change the world of production, especially in video to cloud. So everyone watching at home, we're going to keep walking the floors. Make sure you stay tuned for some more NAB 2023 coverage. I'm Adam Frimmer from DIYPhotography.net.